Hello YouTubers. Today I'm going to install the Google Android operating system uh, as a virtual machine on my Debian Mini box. First thing I want to do is go to the uh, live Android page hosted at code.google.com. Here's the address here code.google.com forward slash p forward slash live dash android. And on this page, I s we scan and we see the downloads here for the ISOs. And first thing you notice is that the ISO is in two parts, uh, part 001 and part 002. So what we'll need to do is to download both of these and then combine them. Since I'm using Linux, uh, it's going to be fairly easy. The how-to page shows you how here to download then you want to combine them. With Linux we have the simple concatenate command which will combine <coughs> excuse me, the two ISOs together into one. The instructions have point two, but the newest version is point three. So we'll go ahead and, and download them. I already downloaded them and here they are here. 01 and 02. So we're going to go ahead and load up the terminal then combine these. And of course, I've already done this before to make sure everything works. So I'll go ahead and use my history, find the command, and then um, execute it. I replace point two with point three, and we see it starting to combine here, and it's done already. Total ISO now is 172.5 megabytes. So I want to clear out as much memory as possible because I only have 512 megabytes available and that's going to make my system kind of shaky but it should work okay a new virtual machine using the Sun's virtual box wizard we'll call it Android I operating system type Linux and there's not a listing for Android yet so I'm going to put other Linux next and I'm going to make my base memory 256 megs uh, I only have 512 megs total on my system so this will kind of leave my system a little bit shaky but for demonstration purposes uh, it sh I should be alright I'm going to create a new hard disk. Uh, dynamic. And I'm only going to make it two gigs. Okay, I'm finished with the first part of it. So we'll go ahead and start it off. The first thing it wants to do is find the ISO. So I'm going to use a CD-ROM image file and here it is here I've already um, pulled it up but basically let's just go ahead and remove it okay let's add it again add it go to my downloads file and here's the live Android open it up there it is select it next yep now it starts the process of uh, running. Now there's a problem with my sound card and it doesn't want to work but let's just ignore that right now. Now I've tried 102.4.768 and it locked up so I want to leave that alone. My, my mouse wouldn't work so it may be a memory issue so I'm just going to go back to 800 by 600. And we see we, we got Linux warning me about the color depth can't change that till I install it right and you see we got real Linux here Bluetooth a whole lot of um, services being loaded Bluetooth among others And 
he has enjoyed. I'm just a little hard this thing is so it, it's still loading up okay we're almost there let's see how long this takes Like I said, my memory is rather low. I have 512 megs total. I'm running a older computer, a Dell Dimension 440, uh, 1.8 gigahertz Pentium. Um, definitely not state of the art. So I'd imagine a Pentium M processor would be done by now, or one of the newer dual core processors. Uh, But running virtual machines kind of put, put your system to a test. I don't normally do this one. This is just for experimental purposes. Okay, that's about a minute and a half now and still no OS. No desktop, rather. Next time I do one of these, I'm going to bring my guitar and I'll, and I'll play a little bit. Okay, approaching two and a half minutes now and no desktop. Three minutes. Mm -mm. And there we have the uh, Android desktop. Let's go ahead and go to a full screen. Uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, I'm going to capture. There's a little Android pointer. I didn't get that with the 800 by 768 display. And here's some of the programs, or what do they call it here? Uh, calendar, calculator. I always like to try calculators. Let's see. 99. The keypad doesn't work. And he has Android. I'm just a little hard this thing is, so it, it's still loading up. Okay. 
We're almost there. Let's see how long this takes. We're almost there. Let's see how long this takes. And there we have the uh, Android desktop. Let's go ahead and go to a full screen. Uh, let's see what we got here. Can I capture? There's a little Android pointer. I didn't get that with the 800 by 768 display. But here's some of the programs. Uh, what do they call it here? Uh, calendar, calculator. I always like to try calculators, let's see, 99, the keypad doesn't work, divided by 0, let me see, alright, let's see, now I just hit the escape button, uh, does that actually shut down the program? I don't know. Let's see. We have settings for alarm clock, contacts, uh, music. Let's see what it has here. And I know I don't have any songs, so it should be nothing here. Let's see what else here. Settings. And these all seem to be settings for phones. Not surprising since it's a uh, mobile phone app operating system. Uh, don't need that. Messaging. Let's see what this does. Contacts. Not yet. Let's go to browser. That's something I know something about. Okay. Let's see if my Gmail account works. That's not too cool. You could actually see my password uh, as I typed it in. So for the purposes of this screencast, I'm going to delete that part. So as I typed in my password, you could actually see the characters. So someone that was interested in my uh, Google account could pop could uh get my password so I'm gonna delete I deleted that part so you wouldn't see it uh, as I typed it in so for the purposes of this screencast I'm gonna delete that part so as I typed in my password you could actually see the characters Okay, it's my normal Gmail. Um,
This is apparently the address bar up here. So let's see. I'm going to go to one of my websites. See how it renders. Okay, this is a, a WordPress website. Uh, everything renders. And that's Google Android operating system. Live. Uh, I like it. What are spare parts? Battery history, transition, fancy, font size. 